Hi, thank you for having us today, Mayor Hales and Council. My name is Tanya Lynn March. I live at 8334 North Hartman Street. As the Vice President of the Northwest Neighborhood Cultural Center, I want to thank the Landmarks Commission for acknowledging in the report the efforts of the Northwest Children's Theater, our board, and our community members for moving the building to the accomplishment section of the report. I'm now putting on another hat. I am the Northwest District Association representative on the Portland Coalition for Historic Resources. We support the three-point approach presented by Brandon Spencer Hartle to manage the demolition trend. Karen, also of the NWDA, will bring a letter tonight today from the NWDA with our take on it that went through board approval. My concern is about the historic resource inventory which is priority two of the report. I keep hearing people discussing the money and <coughs> focusing on the <coughs> $20,000 and, well, isn't it wonderful that we have Google Earth now and we can use handheld data devices and we can go out and we can do an inventory a different way. I think this expresses a certain amount of wishful thinking because we're not applying the lens of equity to the historic resource inventory. When that resource inventory was done in the 1980s, it was when great white man's history was still the way history was taught in school. We need to have an equity lens when you choose a geography for the pilot for the introduction of the historic resource inventory. Kathy mentioned in her testimony that we've lost 14 sites that are important to black history. Um, Bosca Milligan Foundation in 1997 created the Cornerstones of Community Buildings of Portland of African American History. This is the revised and expanded edition that I have here from 1997. The historic resource inventory does not reflect the cultural diversity of the city of Portland. Um, it is imperative to update the inventory to be reflected of all people in our city. And um, that gets back to what Teresa was saying, that delays in some neighborhoods will not bring the money. You will not have the million dollar angels that come in. And it's in the 80s, the volunteers that were interested were communities that they had the volunteers that could work on historic assets. Where other communities, this may not be their top priority and we need to make sure when they, we reach out to volunteers for surveying neighborhoods that we bring in a component of education and diversity. Another concern I have is I was very happy to work on the code improvement project, but historic listings are still very expensive because they're not a type one. I would hope that they could be made a type one X. Um, Northwest District Association is concerned because if a homeowner wants to put themselves on the national register, they have to go through a type two review, which is cost onerous. Thank you.